Good morning everyone. Now we are going to see an experiment using diffraction grating. We are actually going to find the number of lines on the grating surface using diffraction grating. Let's see how a diffraction grating sheet looks like. This is a diffraction grating sheet which is nothing but a plain transparent glass sheet where opaque rulings are made with a diamond point here. If you see here there are three bifurcations here. The first bifurcation it's written here as 100 lines per millimeter. That means in this particular portion 100 lines are drawn per millimeter and uh, the second part it has been 300 lines per millimeter. That means 300 lines are drawn per millimeter here and uh, the third part is actually 600 lines per millimeter that means 600 lines are drawn per millimeter here these are the capital n value that is the number of lines on the grating sheet now we are going to find experimentally what is this capital n value for this we are going to make use of a laser source and this diffraction grating sheet has been placed on a table and we need a screen for seeing the laser diffracted patterns on the screen okay so now you can see clearly that light is falling on the grating sheet and the moment the light reaches the grating sheet you would be able to see the diffracted pattern very clearly on the screen and this is the central maximum with maximum intensity followed by the first order maxima, the second order maxima, third order maxima and so on both on the left side as well as on the right side. Okay. Now what I am going to do is I am going to adjust the distance of this grating sheet from the screen that we would measure it as capital D. Okay. So while performing this experiment what we have to do is this capital D which is the distance between the grating and the screen we keep it as a fixed distance and uh, what we have to do is we have to draw the spots on the screen here. I need to put a graph sheet or a plane sheet here and I need to mark these circles here whatever we are able to see on the screen here. Okay. I had measured the capital D value which is nothing but the distance between the grating to the screen and now after putting this graph sheet what I have to do is I have to draw these laser spots which are clearly visible here because I need to find the distance of the first order spot on the left side to the first order spot on the right side. Then I would be marking the second order spot also in the same way because I need to calculate the distance from the second order spot to the second order spot and then I would be finding out for the third order spot also the distance from the third order spot on the left side to the third order spot on the right side. Okay. Now let us see how this experiment can be done. Okay. As I told you we would be marking everything on a plain sheet or on a graph sheet. So we have taken for three different D values. I just changed the distance between the grating to the screen and I have marked all those parts which are clearly visible to me. Okay. So now the D values have been written here for three consecutive D values we have taken or we have marked the position of the laser diffracted spots also. Okay. Now what I need to do, I have to find the distance of the first order spot from the left side to the first order spot on the right side. This is the central maximum. These are the two first order diffraction spots. So I need to measure the distance from this spot to this spot. Okay. So the distance of this spot, I would be writing it over here. This is for the first order diffraction. Then I go for second order diffraction. So for second order diffraction this is the spot on the left side and this is the spot on the right side. So I would be measuring the distance from this spot to this spot that would give you the entire distance when my n is equal to 2. Okay. So 
after finding this i need to find out sin theta which is nothing but x upon 2d where x is nothing but the distance of the spot and d is nothing but the distance between the grating to the screen so we find first sin theta after finding sin theta we need to find the capital n value which is nothing but sin theta upon small n into lambda where small n is nothing but the order of diffraction we have corresponding first order and the second order diffracted spots here and lambda is the wavelength of the laser light which we use here we are making use of a green color laser light source so we have to write the wavelength accordingly okay but in this particular experiment we had made use of a helium neon laser where we had a red light so the wavelength was given as 6328 armstrong unit we can make use of any type of laser here we need to just write the wavelength of that particular laser here in this formula we substituted and find out what is this capital n value okay so we would be getting this corresponding capital n values here first we perform that experiment for one n value if you would have remembered we had seen that it is written 100 lines per millimeter that is nothing but 1000 lines per centimeter so we got n correspondingly now we can perform that experiment by just altering the position of your diffraction grating sheet this is for 300 lines per millimeter the corresponding spots would be seen on the screen this way the same way we need to measure the center spot and the first order spot and the second order spot distances and uh, we have to write those values here and uh, we would get the x value correspondingly here you can find out their sin theta's value and finally you can find out what is the capital n value and we would repeat one more time for the last value here you can see till the second order spot only clearly this is your central maximum this is your first order spot and this is your second order spot okay now we measure the distances accordingly we have noted down the x distances here corresponding sin theta and then we find out the corresponding n value here okay this is how we perform the experiment to find the number of lines on the grating surface using a laser source thank you